Striking the makiwara to condition the hands and feet and strengthen the body is unique to the practice of karate and is taken very seriously by high-level exponents. Punching ball training conditions not only the extremities of the body that actually make contact with the opponent, but the supporting structure as well. Repetitive striking builds up the wrist and forearm, shoulder, back and hips, as well as the supporting leg. Makiwara training must be both regular and repetitive. A beginner would do well to start with 100 punches each side per day, building up to 30 minutes training each day, and more. As training progresses, as many as 1,000 strikes on each side can be performed during the course of one training session. Some students may prefer to train more with their weak hand until they feel as comfortable punching with the left as with the right. The makiwara should be adjusted to just below shoulder level and strikes must be performed on exhalation as they would be in actual combat. Thus, as with all training in Goju Liu, not only are the physical movements learned, but also the breathing and correct concentration and focus are perfected through continuous training. The importance of Makiwara training cannot be overemphasized. All three of the fathers of modern karate believed in its use and trained regularly. Chojun Miyagi had his students bury the boards in the hard ground of his garden dojo where they would train. Kenwa Mabuni, the founder of Shitoryu Karate, would punch the training board for hours in the pouring rain while his devoted wife held an umbrella over him. Funakoshi Gichin, the inspiration of the modern Shotokan form of karate, used the makiwara as an adjunct to his own training. The large makiwara teaches a different range of skills. The body and hands are strengthened, an ideal target provided for backhand and open hand striking techniques. Power is concentrated in the first two knuckles of the fist, which may be gyrated at the moment of impact to create the greatest force. Many old karate teachers believed that striking with the third and fourth knuckles was dangerous, as Chinese medicine documents are linked between this area and the heart. The addition of wooden stakes allows for arm conditioning and blocking practice. <laughs> 